The conventional way of clearing a minefield is a slow and laborious process using this mine prodder and this mine claw. Buried mines are detected using the mine prodder. The mine claw is then used to dislodge the mine and to set off any possible booby traps. Dislodged mines are then removed and disposed of in another location. It takes more than four hours for a platoon of combat engineers to manually clear a 100-metre path, not forgetting the risks that come with this operation. That's now a faster and safer way. This is the Trailblazer countermine vehicle. And I'm here at the 38th Battalion Singapore Combat Engineers to get a closer look at how this green goliath clears a minefield. Hey. Platoon Sergeant Li Jiayan from the Mechanized Equipment Company showed me the business end of the Trailblazer, which is this series of steel chains and steel striker heads attached to a roto shaft. This is the striker head and this is the weight. I thought they resembled some medieval torture instrument, but the only things that are going to get some heavy-duty punishment will be the mines in the way of the trailblazer. Whirling and twirling at high speed, the chains and striker heads pound the ground to clear a 100-meter path in less than 8 minutes, a fraction of the time needed to clear the minefield manually. That's a, a pressure plate on top of every mine. So we will destroy the mechanism by hitting it so that it won't detonate anymore when any of the vehicle go through the clear lane. During the sweeping of the minefield, there's the possibility is that it displays the mine and it will fly out of the clear lane. This means that we, the lane will be clear as well. Another possibility is the detonation of buried mines during the clearing process. If a mine is detonated, the trailblazer is protected from shrapnel by a blast shield behind the rotating shaft, and the vehicle's two-man crew sit snug and safe in the shockproof armoured cabin. As it crawls along, the trailblazer fires metal spikes into the ground to mark the lane it has cleared. Friendly troops and vehicles can then trail quickly and safely behind without losing momentum. While it seems slow and lumbering during mine clearing, the trailblazer is actually quite quick on its feet. Unlike most countermine vehicles more than two times its weight, the trailblazer weighs in at less than 30 tonnes and uses a single engine to power both the vehicle and the mine clearing system. For 3rd Sergeant Toby, a trailblazer commander, it's a breeze to manoeuvre this armoured giant. To drive the trailblazer around is uh, fairly easy because firstly the trailblazer uses a uh, track system that is originally meant for cross-country terrain plus it has uh, six individual suspension aside to handle all the bumpy terrain coming its way. Uh, it's, it's a work on uh, auto transmission so we don't have to change gear. It uses a uh, conventional steering wheel to steer the vehicle around instead of the old traditional lever and things. It's more compact and light. That's why it can travel at a faster speed to keep pace with the armoured force to facilitate mine carrying operation. To exploit the momentum of battle, obstacles such as minefields need to be cleared quickly so that the SF's fast-moving fighting platforms can advance without obstruction. With the combination of power and speed, the Trailblazer provides just such a mine clearing capability that is a lot faster and safer.